Most people assume that the destructive power of an earthquake comes almost entirely from the shaking. But new research from MIT shows that shaking is only a small part of the story. In controlled laboratory experiments, scientists triggered miniature earthquakes and tracked exactly how the energy was released. What they discovered challenges long-held assumptions about what really happens when the Earth ruptures. The results reveal that only around 10% of the energy becomes the ground motion we feel. Less than 1% goes into breaking rock. The overwhelming majority, close to 80%, is released as heat. In microseconds, temperatures at the fault can spike above 1200 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt rock into glass before it cools again. These violent bursts of heat are hidden underground, invisible on the surface, but they inflict deep structural damage that permanently weakens fault zones. MIT's team also found that this hidden damage doesn't reset after a quake ends. Rocks retain a memory of what they've been through, and that history changes how energy is divided the next time the fault slips. A region scarred by earlier ruptures may release far more energy as shaking, or produce larger zones of melted rock, increasing the likelihood that future earthquakes will be more destructive than models predict. This breakthrough gives scientists one of the clearest pictures yet of earthquake physics. By understanding how much energy goes into shaking, melting, or fracturing, researchers may be able to better identify which fault zones are most vulnerable and why certain regions are primed for catastrophic failure.